For many people, their first experience with the Microsoft Whiteboard is through Microsoft Teams, the platform that we use to communicate and collaborate all across the world. So if you look at Microsoft Teams, I'm in a Teams meeting. I'm here as Bruce and I have Frank that's joined me. And if I go into the share icon here, you'll notice that you can go to the Microsoft Whiteboard. When you click on Microsoft Whiteboard, you'll see all of the whiteboards that are part of your whiteboard collection because it's part of the web app. Now, if I go here, that's the last whiteboard I was sharing, but here you can see I can select from whatever whiteboard that I'd like. I can go in and I can start with the follow me feature, which I recommend, especially in a meeting where you're guiding somebody around the whiteboard. So I'm going to go into the whiteboard here. You'll notice that as I go into the whiteboard, it's shown for all of the participants. As I zoom in, all of the participants will zoom in with me. I can go in and I could put, say, a reaction in here. So we'll put a heart reaction in there, zoom in. I can have the other participants can come in. They could put a reaction in there. Maybe they'll put a check mark. So they could put a check mark there. And this is a great way for us to collaborate. You'll notice that the settings, for example, the author um, collaboration cursors are here. We have the enhanced ink shapes. So all of the different features that we expect from the whiteboard are here for us. We also, under privacy and security, have the connected experiences on here. So that means that we're going to be able to go in and add objects in here as well. So a lot of times if I go into the import, I can bring in images and documents different links, and especially loop components, which are very, very useful. Now you can see here that underneath the pens, I have all of the things that I would expect. So all of my pen shapes are here as well. So if I wanna go in and draw on the whiteboard, I can do something like that, and all my participants will see that. And this is a great way to collaborate using Microsoft Teams and using the Microsoft Whiteboard. What's even cooler about this is that once you're finished, this is part of your whiteboard collection, so you'll retain this in your OneDrive. So this is all going to be saved in your OneDrive. It all comes from your OneDrive. One of the things that for some reason people have always asked me about is when you want to stop sharing, you have to go to the top menu here. People look all over where they can see the, the stop sharing. Stop following means people won't follow you, but stop sharing means that you're no longer sharing the whiteboard. Now that's removed from the participant screens and you can continue on with the rest of your, your meeting and go back and forth to the whiteboard. And again, actually, if I go into share, it will go right back to where I left off as opposed to the menu of whiteboards. It'll go directly to the last whiteboard that we were sharing in this meeting. So that's handy if you want to go back and forth to and from a whiteboard during the meeting. You don't always have to select the whiteboard. It'll default to the one that was part of this meeting when you, when you share it first time, whatever the whiteboard is, it'll be there for you.